So the other day I was rummaging through an old box and uh, I came across a few valuables. Uh, they're valuable to me anyway. Uh, firstly, Championship Manager 9900, which I did a separate video on the other day. Uh, secondly, Championship Manager 0102, the demo that I got free in a box of Cheerios or Shreddies. And there were also two other discs. There was the quiz. Remember that? Anyone? Did anyone get the whole collection? I think there was three. If there was more than three, then I want more. I want the fourth one. If there's a fourth one hidden away out there, you know, I need that disc because the other, the third disc was a, a tips and tactics disc. I, yeah, I've kept them. You know, I'm just I'm weird like that. But they obviously mean a lot to me. Uh, I'm I'm happy to do a, a series on Championship Manager 9900. I've already said that, but. Uh, and I've done a series on Championship Manager 0102 three years ago, but I actually only ever owned the demo. I never had the full version, but you could play the demo for two years. And that was enough for me back then when I was like 11 years old. So I decided to stick the uh, the quiz demo into my computer and unfortunately it just wouldn't install. But when I put the tips and tactics disc in, it did work. And it led me to this. So it's an SI Games. I don't know if it's. I don't think it's an actual website, but it's it's opened in my web browser, and it just gives you tips. It's got all of the best players on here, or the best young players to buy in Championship Manager 0102. Where's Two Madeira? Why isn't Two Madeira there? Like it just looks so old. It looks like a 90s website, basically, doesn't it? Top tactics from the makers of the game, and you can download the files. Apparently, let's just look at the screenshot. So. That's a formation. That's not really a tactic. It's amazing. Like these are actual tips from the makers of the game. Let's have a look at this one. Do you remember the arrows? They were great, the arrows, weren't they? Just so, you know, you point, drag the arrows with your right clicker. This was probably the best marketing campaign ever because it got so many people into the game. If you are one of the people that start, you know, plays with Manager now because of this, primarily this disc, I suppose, the, the actual demo game. Then let me know in the comment section below. I could do a series where I basically just follow the tactics from this disc and implement them into champion into into Football Manager 2019. Try and implement these tactics. I think, yeah. Oh, I remember this. This is where I got my training from. I've always wondered where I found this. I had it on a disc. I had it on this bloody grey disc thing. I used to just copy this for the training, and it worked a treat. It's just given you the best way to train your players. I love this. It was so simple, the training back then. But in some ways, it was actually better than like FM18. FM19, the trainings, of course, changed. But yeah, ah, oh, this is bringing back so many memories. And then hints and tips. I mean, what are the hints and tips from Mark Vaughan, head of development on Championship Manager? Wow, the game's now whirring away in the background. I don't think I could ever be bothered. Oh, maybe. Oh, I think I printed this out. I'm such a nerd. I'm not sure I actually read it, but I, I certainly printed it out. And it's just all about, I think it's basically a manual, isn't it? How to install the game, playing the game. Yeah. I mean, this is kind of what they need nowadays for some new players, I think. They have, not They have like, the in-game, what is it called? I've forgotten. But, you know, they've got the, the help guide that's been implemented into FM19. But this goes into a lot more detail. They used to do, you know, books for Championship Manager 99. I had a little book thing that came with the game. This is basically what it is, I think. Ideal player ages. I remember, I, I think I did read this because I remember this. Like the, uh, the ideal player age for goalkeeper 33, defender 31. That's quite interesting. Earliest retirement age. So, th so literally in the game, you couldn't retire before the age of 30 unless you got an injury. I wonder if that's still the same now. Taught you how to edit as well. Taught you how to do stuff like with the editor. Wow, they actually had something. They they had cancer in the game, basically. A chemotherapy thing. I'm learning something. I'm, I wonder if that's still a thing. This might help if your game keeps crashing, guys. Just just try some of this stuff. It's still the same things, isn't it? Like, now you get corrupt data files. It's, it's basically the same game as it was back then. But it's just been updated. I think the coding is... The, the main coding behind the game is probably still all the same. Someone might know all about the coding. Someone that may have worked there or works there may want to enlighten me. You can appeal bans for the first time in 0102. See, there's a lot of things that were on the game that were kind of hidden away a bit as well back then. And nowadays they've just been brought to the front on Football Manager. Oh, it's working. I remember this. You could only do quick start game because it's the demo. 
but you could I'm pretty sure you could play two seasons oh I wish I could you know I had my old save files from years ago I think yeah you could only play in England as well but that was enough for me back then I'm gonna take control of my beloved West Ham United ah memories it's almost exactly the same as Championship Manager 99 like people complain about the game not really changing much these days but back then it didn't really change. I don't know why so many people love this version more than 9900. This, if people talk about Championship Manager, they talk about 0102 for some reason. But to be fair, it's the game that I, I think of as well, and I didn't even have the full version. Oh, we had some great players back then. Joe Cole, Michael Carrick, 19 years old. De Canio, what a player he was. Trevor Sinclair, great right winger. Freddie Canute at the age of 23. Shaka Hislop and goal and David James. This was the Premier League at the time then. Man United, the dominant force, along with uh, Arsenal. This team's a lot bigger than the 9900 team that I had. Van Nistelrooy up front. What a player. Luke Chadwick, an even better player. <laughs> He's actually quite good on here. Ronaldinho in his prime at this point, wasn't he? Or was it just the year before? It was 2002 where he scored those goals. I don't think he's even on here, is he? As Roberto Carlos. Rivaldo. Uh, I suppose Ronaldo kind of dropped off a bit, hadn't he? Figo. He was a quality player. I wonder what players... Like, I don't think Cristiano Ronaldo... No, he definitely wouldn't be on here, would he? I think on the update they added Rooney. Oh, no, he was on here already. Wayne Rooney at the age of 16. I don't think that's correct, his age. There's Ronaldinho, age 21. And there's uh, the Brazilian Ronaldo. Lost a bit of pace and acceleration, but he's still... Well, 20, accelerate, uh, 20 pace and 17 acceleration is still really good compared to the 99 game. A lot of people really missed the old games because I think they were quite simplistic. They were quick to play. You could speed through them. Like, you'd, you'd press continue, especially on a PC. Look, it went from the 14th to the 17th in like a second. And it might be because I'm playing on a really powerful modern PC, but even back then it was so quick to get through. I think a lot of people nowadays are put off by the fact there's, there's so much complexity to the new football managers. If you're one of those people, then you could just go back and play the old games. Or secondly, you could play the mobile version because that's a lot more simp simple and that is almost like the old championship managers in a way. If you want to watch a championship manager series, 0102, then I did make a series three years ago, and I'll try and remember to link it in the description below. Uh, I, I might I might make one on 99.00, I, I possibly could make one on the full version of 0102. But yeah, just a short video today, telling you I've discovered all these discs. You probably didn't really need to know that, but just the memories. It really does bring back a lot of memories. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for those games. I wouldn't have made a YouTube channel dedicated to Football Manager. So I am very thankful for all of these old discs that that got me into the game. You know, it, it, it was a it was a good time. I was I was terrible at the game. I was so crap. It was unbelievable how bad I was. But but I, I had fun and I got better <laughs> and uh, I got older and that helps, of course. Thank you for watching this bit of a ramble. If you want to see more Championship Manager content on the channel, let me know in the comments. Hit the like button. But until next time, enjoy Football Manager, enjoy Championship Manager, enjoy the rest of your day. See you very soon.